Hello everyone, welcome to YouTube channel Learn with Gisela. In this video of exponents and radicals, we shall take up two questions where we have to simplify using laws of exponents. In previous video, we have already discussed these laws in detail. Let us just recapitulate them. The first law is product of powers which says x raised to power a into x raised to power b is equal to x raised to power a plus b. That means whenever we have multiplication of exponents, we add the powers. Second law is quotient of powers that is x raised to power a divided by x raised to power b is equal to x raised to power a minus b. Over here we will subtract the powers. The third law is power of power that means whenever we have two powers inside and outside we multiply the powers that is x raised to power a and whole raised to power b is equal to x raised to power a into b. Further fourth law is power of product that says x into y whole raised to power a is equal to x raised to power a into y raised to power a. Further we have fifth law that is power of quotient whenever we have two variables divided with each other and whole raised to power a so a will be distributed between two of them so we will write x upon y whole raised to power a is equal to x raised to power a upon y raised to power a. Now we have the sixth law as negative exponent that is x raised to power minus a is equal to 1 upon x raised to power a. Over here whenever we have negative exponent and we have to convert into positive we just have to reciprocate the base and over here the base was x. So we just took the base from the numerator and put it in the denominator and we wrote 1 upon x raised to power a. Now the seventh law is identity exponent that is x raised to power 1 is equal to x itself. Further we have eighth law that is 0 exponent anything raised to power 0 is 1. Now let's start with the question. It is given 64 raised to power minus 1 by 6 into 216 raised to power minus 1 by 3 into 81 raised to power minus 1 by 4 upon 512 raised to power minus 1 by 3 into 16 raised to power 1 by 4 into 9 raised to power minus half. Now over here if you observe in the bracket we have the base as 64, 216, 81 and so on. So now we will convert these bases into exponential form such that it matches with the power which is given outside. Now outside it is 1 by 6, 1 by 3, 1 by 4 so on. So what we will do is 64 we will write 2 raised to power 6. 216 we will write 6 cube for the 81 we will write instead of 9 square we can write 3 raised to power 4 then 512 we will write 8 cube 16 we will write 2 raised to power 4 and 9 we will write 3 square so that uh, the power inside and the power outside stand cancel now next step is to cancel all uh, 6 by 6 3 by 3 4 by 4 3 by 3 4 by 4 and 2 by 2 and we are left with 2 raised to power minus 1 into 6 raised to power minus 1 into 3 upon 8 raised to power minus 1 into 2 into 3 raised to power minus 1. Now whenever we have a negative as exponent we convert it into positive by reciprocating the base. So all the negative in the numerator will come in the denominator and all the denominators uh, negative in the denominator will go in the numerator. So we will write 3 into 8 into 3 upon 2 into 6 into 2 which is equal to 3. So 3 is the answer. Now let us take up question number 2. It is given cube root of x raised to power 4 into y into 1 upon cube root of x into y raised to power 7 and whole raised to power minus 4. Now over here we have a radical form that is nth root of a raised to power m which we will convert into exponential form that is a raised to power m by n. Now m becomes the numerator and the n becomes the denominator. So accordingly we will write x raised to power 4 into y whole raised to power 1 by 3 into 1 upon x into y raised to power 7 whole raised to power 1 by 3 and further we have box bracket and whole raised to power minus 4. Now whenever we have inside and outside two powers we multiply the powers. So in the first bracket we have 4 inside and 1 by 3 outside. Similarly in the denominator we have 7 inside and 1 by 3 outside. So we shall multiply 1 by 3 which with each of the variables. So we shall write x raised to power 4 by 3 into y raised to power 1 by 3. Further upon x raised to power 1 by 3 into y raised to power 7 by 3 and whole raised to power minus 4. 
now we know that whenever the two exponents are divided we subtract the powers and you can see we have both the variables in numerator and denominator like x also and y also so now we shall subtract the powers and we will write x raised to power 4 by 3 minus 1 by 3 y raised to power 1 by 3 minus 7 by 3 and whole raised to power minus 4 now further we will take lcm and we'll get x raised to power 3 by 3 into y raised to power minus 6 by 3 and whole raised to power minus 4 now 3 and 3 will get cancelled it will become 1 x raised to power 1 and further minus 6 upon 3 is minus 2 so we will write y raised to power minus 2 and whole raised to power minus 4 now over here we have a negative exponent that is y raised to power minus 2 we shall convert into positive exponent by applying the law of negative exponent according to which whenever we have x raised to power minus a it is equal to 1 upon x raised to power a that means if we have to convert the negative into positive we just have to reciprocate the base so accordingly we will write x upon y square and whole raised to power minus 4 now further we shall apply the law of power of quotient according to which x upon y whole raised to power a is equal to x raised to power a upon y raised to power a so accordingly we will distribute minus 4 between numerator and denominator and we shall write x raised to power minus 4 upon y raised to power minus 8 as 2 into minus 4 is minus 8. Now both are in negative exponents so we shall make it positive by again applying the law of negative exponent and reciprocating the base and we shall get the answer y raised to power 8 upon x raised to power 4. So this is how we have simplified two questions using the laws of exponent. Hope you have understood. Thank you everyone.